Okay, we're back. So we just did the uh, drivers unassigned blah 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 thing. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to force load the drivers uh, to this stuff right here. So all you have to do is just go to your um, device manager. Let's go to your device manager here and um, And look for your Asus transformer. Well, I don't have it loaded right now because it's not on APX mode. So what I need to do is I need to put this on APX mode. Just a second. So what we're going to do is, we're going to put this on APX mode, is, there you go. Yep, it's already on APX mode, so, but how do you force the drivers in, you just go, update driver software and then you wanna browse your computer to wherever it is so I did the universal naked driver stuff and since you um, basically um, uh, disabled the uh, uh, security uh, system on Windows you can now actually load this driver so you just hit next and it'll start to load up right so and I'll say best driver software is already installed blah 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 I already installed it so so all you have to do is uh, install it and then you'll see a bunch of warning stuff it's saying uh, warning uh, this driver is not signed by Microsoft blah 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 just go ahead and just go through it and then once you're done then that's it so the last thing you need to do is this is the most frustrating part for me because I downloaded as you can see all of these and only one seems to work and the only one that works is the easy flasher and I've run through like I've run this like maybe like 20 times last night trying to figure this out but it's the only one that actually was able to uh, get in touch with my um, transformer and got it back up and running so and then oh yeah and then the most important thing about this is that um, I can't be responsible for what happens at this point because it's either your device is br uh, bricked already so this is like basically like a second chance to save it if you've done this and your device is uh, it's actually instead of a soft brick it's a hard brick then there's not much you can do but at, but at least you gave it a fighting chance to try and get it and also sometimes when you get this you know I have like a couple of computers here in my house and I use my old desktop in the beginning on this that's how I brick my device trying to trying to do this and I have like an old uh, Pentium 4 with a 2.0 bus on it and I've done this exact thing on it on that machine and it seems to stall and it seems to shut down on uh, partition number 15 which you will see in just a minute so if you've done this and it doesn't work on the computer because you have an old computer get a newer computer get a faster computer that you will know that it will be reliable and the USBs are fast so mine is running right now at a 3.0 USB sp a bus speed I mean 2.0 should be sufficient enough and it should work you know but anyways so what you want to do is uh, you want to put the stock ROM from uh, Asus right here so I already downloaded it from a separate site because Asus doesn't have this anymore and this is another problem I ran into 
This ROM is the only ROM I think you can use. I've tried all the other ROMs after this and it doesn't work. And it seems to work with this one for some reason. So make sure you use only this particular one. I'm going to try and package them all up together and upload it so that when you guys download it, it's just all going to be in one place. So you don't have to go like what I did. I have to go to one space to try and get one file, go to another space to try and get another file, and then go to another space to try and get the instruction on how to do all this stuff. And it's a pain, you know. So, so anyway, so we'll just go ahead and start the easy flasher. And I'll say uh, blah, blah, blah. Do you want to allow this computer? Yes, because my device is bricked. Now this part right here is a SBK so I don't know and when I looked at the developers uh, site it says you can either use SBK1 or but, but try both. I used SBK2 on mine and it seems to work very well so I'm gonna do this and it'll say easy flasher and once you get here now this is what we call the point of no return basically what this means is that if you done the steps correctly then you should be able to unbrick your device but if your device is not brick and you're trying to flash a new ROM do not use this because this is how I actually brick my device so what I ended up doing is is uh, putting back the flat the the original stock ROM back and going from there so and then you want to make sure at this point that your device is still on APX mode because sometimes it shuts down so you want to make sure I, so what I do is I keep this open just to make sure it's on APX mode still and it still is so I can go back here and I can go rest assured that that's not gonna happen so let me go back and alright so all you have to do is uh, let the magic happen just click this one it says uh, and then this point you can pick whatever whatever you want from this portion right here you can work clockwork mod or anything but you hit unbrick and then it will wipe everything off your tablet so if you have anything in there it's gone okay so you hit yes and what's gonna do is it's gonna do this it's gonna be extracting files and then you can actually pull up the uh, this file right here and then it shows you exactly what's going on it says uh, since I've done this before I would just say always since I've done all of it so it's extracting everything on here so in the first time when you when you do this then you won't actually see any of this stuff going on so right now it's gonna be extracting the files you just wait for a minute and there it goes and it'll ask you so the blob style they extract it and everything so now you need to run make sure your device is on APX mode it'll say it right here hit OK do not put and then if you're in the right way then please reboot put your tablet in APX mode again so you gotta make sure that's why it's important to have your device on APX mode right now and then what you do is you hit OK. And then once it's doing this, you'll see this. So it's updating the phone, right? Stuff like that. It's updating this. So it's, uh, it's actually bringing stuff. And this is where a lot of people have problems. I've had problems with these. And it's a pain and it's absolutely amazing so so this takes a while so I mean the one thing that the formatting posi uh, it's formatting everything right now so it's fixing everything that is in the system so if you made it this far then you can say absolutely hooray so but, but uh, you gotta make sure you get past 
uh, partition number 15. So that would be the longest thing. So I'll be right back when we're at partition 15.